Well, a win, a goal, must be pleased. Yeah, I mean, there's no complaints from us. I think we played the conditions well and got the job done in the end, and it's another three points to the tally. How, how important was it to, to respond from, from Saturday? I know you were all disappointed. Yeah, I mean, we can't get too down when we do lose games because, as the gaffer was saying in the changing room, we've only lost two in the last 20 games. So I think we can just keep, keep our confidence high and keep battering teams and uh, hopefully keep getting points. And for you, coming into the side, having been on the bench, were you even more sort of ready and, and raring to go for it tonight? Yeah, I mean, there's a high competition for places in the squad at the minute, so I think when you do get your chance, you got to make sure you take it with full confidence, and hopefully, I think I did that tonight, and hopefully I can keep my place. It seemed from, from early on that you know you were going to have a, a, a decent night. Did, did you get the sense early on when you started running the defenders that, that you were going to have a decent one? Yeah, I think I've just got to be full of confidence in myself and be positive, and I think when I drive at players, it causes a real problem, and I thought from minute one I had him on toast, to be fair, so... Uh, yeah, I just kept getting at him, and yeah, in the end, I got my reward. How important was it that you went up, uh, went in a, a goal up? Yeah, I think it's always important getting that goal before half time because it kind of puts a little ditch. I don't even know what the word is to into their mentality, and it changes their half time team talk. So I think we can go into half time confident, and then come out in the second half and keep going. And you get the second in front of the South Stand. That must be an amazing feeling. Yeah, just a great feeling when you score in front of the fans at home. I think you can't really use words to describe it, but yeah, I'm thankful for Didzi because he wasn't too happy with me tonight, but it is what it is. Why, why not? Why not? Just think my decision making at times are a bit off, but it's something we'll work on and we just have jokes about it now, anyway. What's it like to, to play with him? Because sometimes he seems to be on you know a different wavelength to everybody else. Yeah, he sees things that other players don't see, to be fair, and I think it's just a joy to watch and that I can keep learning from him hopefully keep taking tips and hopefully improving myself as a player I was going to say is it, is it that sort of relationship is he sort of teaching everybody else something every day yeah 100% I mean with the younger lads he's great and I think he always puts his arm around us and helps us and gives us tips and it's really showing on the pitch terrific run here, here at Pride Park hopefully it continues on Saturday of course why are you able to get such good results here do you think I think it's it's easier when you've got the fans behind you. I think they're like the 12th man, they get behind you and they give you a real confidence. But I think it's just us being relentless at the end of the day. And I think when you go to a different grounds, it's tough, the conditions, the pitches. But I think when we play at home, we're a team to fear. Time to rest up and, and go again Saturday. Nice bruise on the leg. Yeah, I got a couple. I'll be sore in the morning, but uh, I'm, re I'm ready for Saturday and I can't wait to go again.